Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in today's video, we are going to look at 10 Chrome DevTool features that you must know and should be using during your pen test. So Chrome actually comes with a Chrome DevTool module. The usual way of accessing Chrome DevTool is, you know, right click on the page and go to inspect and the new window that you see here is known as Chrome DevTool. It provides you a lot of option to different different tabs. So the first feature we're going to look at is taking screenshot of any dev tag from Chrome DevTools. So for that you have to open Chrome DevTool first and you have to uh, stay in elements tab itself and next step is to you know identify the div for which you want to capture the screenshot. So in this particular example we are going to take a screenshot of maybe you know this particular div. Uh, this one let's say and so what you have to do you have to select this element and press ctrl shift and p so once you press ctrl shift p you will see a small window appearing here so what you have to do here you have to type screen text screenshot you will see that chrome has saved the screenshot of only this particular div for us and saved it in the disk yeah this feature can be really useful sometimes when actually preparing POC for your bug report. So the next feature we're going to look at is the built-in Chrome DevTool JavaScript beautifier. So once you open a Chrome DevTool and go to Sources tab, you'll find you know all the JavaScript that this particular web application has downloaded. And as you can see, this is actually the minified version of JavaScript, and it is actually you know not very easy to read. So if you just you know uh, come right here as you can see there are two curly braces right there if you just you know just click on it you will find that the chrome dev tool has automatically you know beautified this javascript for us so this is really helpful when you are actually reading a lot of client side code during bug hunting so the next feature we are going to be looking at is setting quick breakpoint on your client side javascript code from chrome dev tools so for that uh, i have opened this website right here and we'll have to go to sources tab as you can see we have this, uh, you know, we can see all this minified version of JavaScript code that this application has downloaded. And let's quickly, you know, beautify this code. Let's say we want our applications to stop right here when, you know, it, it reaches this line. So we'll just click on click here. So now if we refresh the refresh the page, you will see that when actually the JavaScript control actually reaches this point, the application has stopped. And you know the control is now handed over to the uh, developer or the debugger who is debugging the code so now you can actually you know make a lot of runtime changes within your client side code so the next feature we're going to look at is editing cookies from Chrome DevTools so most of the time what I have seen bug hunters or pen testers uh, use external Chrome plugin or Firefox plugin to edit cookies uh, Chrome DevTool has already a feature which which allows you to edit any cookies so for that you have to open chrome dev tool and go to application tab and in the left column you should be able to see there is a small tag called cookies so as you can see this particular application has you know set uh, following domain has set cookies so if you just click on it you'll be able to see you know all the cookies that has been set by this particular uh, domain you can easily just double click on it and you are you are allowed to edit these cookies so the next feature we are going to look at is Chrome DevTools built-in user agent spoofing component. So sometimes when you are actually performing any pen test or you know trying to hunt bugs, you may have to see how a web application behaves when actually you know you are sending any HTTP request with different user agent. So what I have seen most of the time, uh, bug hunters use some external plugin to switch from one user agent to another user agent. If you are Chrome user, that is not necessarily needed because Chrome DevTool provides a user agent switcher as well. So to be able to use that user agent switcher, what you have to do, you have to go to this particular option and go to more tools and go to network conditions. And here, as you can see, um, there is an option called user agent and it says select automatically you have to uncheck this and you will be able to see that you know it provides all this user agent that you can switch switch to so you can select if you select android and now as you can see it has actually you know set up this particular user agent for your current session now if you refresh you will see that you know you are getting a different version of google search engine 
So the next feature we are going to look at is setting up URL pattern based breakpoint using Chrome DevTools. So let's open up Chrome DevTool first. And as you can see, uh, this particular page has a lot of Google Ads. So suppose you want to you know, block all the requests that are being sent to Google's ad server. So what you have, for that, what you have to do, you have to go to Sources tab. And after that, on the right window, so if you just scroll down, you will get an option XHR and page breakpoints. So what you have to do, you have to click on this plus sign here and you can actually add the domain you want to block. So in this, in our case, we want to block this particular domain, which is, you know, page at two dot Google syndication.com and press enter. So as you can see, this is now added. So now whenever your browser is making any request to this particular domain, it should get blocked. Now let's refresh the page. As you can see, it has actually blocked here and the page execution has stopped. So the next feature we are going to look at is setting up event-based breakpoint from Chrome DevTools. So let's open up Chrome DevTools first and we'll go to Sources tab and on the right window, you, will, you should see event listener breakpoints. So if you just, you know, maximize it and as you can see, there are a lot of event-based breakpoint option it provides you. So for example, if you want to, you know, expand this and select this one before unload and try to close this tab you should be able to see that the debugger has stopped right here it did not allow us to close this particular tab because it, it has encountered the breakpoint that we have just set right here on before unload you can set breakpoints on hundreds of other events as well for example you know script pointer mouse me media xhr worker window etc etc so the next feature we are going to look at is chrome devtool network condition simulator so for that you have to open chrome devtool and go to network tab and right here you should see an option where it allows you to simulate online and offline behavior not only online and offline behavior it also allows you to simulate fast 3g network and slow 3g network now when it when you set it to offline and try to reload this page as you can see it says internet connection is not working this is this particular feature is uh, really helpful when you are trying to find out whether any application is vulnerable to improper cache control so the next feature we're going to look at is exporting HTTP payload from Chrome DevTool for automation so let's open Chrome DevTool we'll go to network tab and once you reload any page you should be able to see that it is sending a lot of HTTP request and now for this particular example choose this one and let's right click on it and go to copy you should see there are plenty of options that copy provides so for this particular example let's copy as powershell so now we'll open notepad and if you paste it here you should be able to see that you know it has uh, exported all the HTTP parameter that your Chrome browser has sent to the server to fetch this particular image. So if you just copy it and open PowerShell and paste it here, as you can see, it has successfully sent this particular HTTP request to this server. So uh, using this particular feature, you can easily do quick automation. So if you want to send this particular request five times, so what you have to do, you have to you know put this particular code in a for loop where your for counter will be set to five. And, and if you run this code, your PowerShell script will send this the same HTTP request five times to this particular server. So this is how actually you can do quick automation using Chrome DevTools. And you have seen it literally took us two to three clicks to do that. So the next feature we're going to look at is finding reference of any string in entire client side code base. In this particular example, let's say you want to find out reference of Google offered in this particular string in all your, you know, client side code base. So for that, uh, the first two option that you have is uh, open Chrome DevTool and go to Sources tab. And in the left side, we should be able to see, you know, all the JavaScript, HTML and CSS file that uh, it has downloaded when you actually, you know, sent this uh, send request for Google.com. To find out this particular string Google offered in, the TDS option you have is, you know, look for, you know, all this source code. 
but the Chrome Dev Tools actually provide really easy feature using which you can actually find the reference of uh, you know and this particular string in you know all the file the application has downloaded. So for that, on your Windows system, you have to press Control Shift F. If you just put the string here, as you can see, it has found the reference of this particular string. As you can see in this particular example, uh, in line 118 of file, as you can see in this particular example, in this particular file, in line 118, it has found this particular string. So that's all I wanted to discuss in today's video. If you like the content, don't forget to leave a like. If you like the kind of content I upload on this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel as well. So thank you for your time. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Peace. Thank you.